The intensity of the 1998 RACV energy breakthrough is about to dawn on these sleepy heads. For most teams, up to 12 months of emotion, innovation and effort are about to be exposed to the world. The energy breakthrough is about to change their lives. The next 48 hours will see them achieve what many didn't think possible. Each year the event becomes bigger and better. In 1998, over 5,000 young people and supporters colonised the beautiful Lake Jubilee in Maryborough, Central Victoria. The annual Breakthrough Village, intensity in a city full of tents. As the clock winds down to the beginning of the original Green Grand Prix, the Breakthrough community of students, teachers, parents and friends fine-tune, brief and be brief, test and retest. The Breakthrough comprises four categories, push carts, innovations in technology, human powered vehicles and hybrid powered vehicles. A wander around the festival site reveals innovations in technology. The theme is Working with Water and is sponsored by Central Highlands Water. Inventive students create an alternate powered watercraft, develop an alternate powered water wheel, or build a scale model which shows how water can be moved from one side of a mountain to the other. Ah, there's the RACV battery car from Hyundai. Somebody must have been watching. The Energy Breakthrough had battery cars on the track a decade ago. For many, many seasoned breakthrough goers, the pushcart event is the highlight of the Energy Breakthrough. In a spirit of maximising participation, the pushcart event sees students as young as five years old kitted out with crash helmet, team colours and the will to excel. The Energy Breakthrough is noted for its strict safety rules. Roll bars, crash hats, knee and elbow pads. You're not racing unless they're on. We've seen some incredible designs over the years, ranging from converted ironing boards to lightweight polymoly bendium carbonate crates. Teamwork, driving skills and elbow grease are the key ingredients to push cart racing success. And a bit of fun, the celebrity race. Celebrities from Win TV, Ted Johnson from the RACV, Holden Race Ace Melinda Price, a celebrity from Radio 3BO, local MP Stephen Elder, Mayor Brian O'Connor, people from the Maryborough Advertiser all joined in the spirit of fun. While some have been off having fun, the secondary school teams have been making last minute preparations for the main event, the 24 hour marathon. Safety checks are done. Tune ups complete. Tactics are ready. And contestants are primed. On the grid. And away! Teamwork will be the key for the marathon. Information from the sidelines and a good pit crew will save vital seconds and minutes that could make all the difference. Not everyone's sleek wonder machine will finish without extra work. The RACV race rescue vehicle will make more than one rescue mission. It's six hours in and the night time brings some relief from the heat of the day. But also tests the team's endurance and driving skills. Their team planning and tactics change for the new dark conditions. And the whole town turns out for the spectacle of these sleek vehicles slicing through the night. 
There are many ingredients which make this event a success. One of them is surely the warm welcome and support of the people of Maryborough. The sun rises on the third day of the breakthrough. After nearly 18 hours of hard slog, pedalling and pushing through the long, misty, dark night, the riders have burst through into Sunday's dawn. There is the occasional spill, but in 10 years of energy breakthrough and 15,000 hours of track competition time, it is one of the safest races going. Stringent design and safety specifications have protected the participants well. It is also testament to the large number of volunteers who staff the track as stewards and signal attendants, relaying vital information about track conditions to riders. It's the last few hours and the end is in sight. And RACV Chairman Brian Bequee waves the chequered flag as number 65, the Southern Alliance team, takes line honours in the 1998 RACV Energy Breakthrough. There they are, exhausted and exhilarated. The participants in the 1998 RACV Energy Breakthrough enjoy a well-earned lap of honour as the crowd goes wild. Congratulations are given to everyone from Brian Bequee and Stephen Elder. Since its beginning over a decade ago, the event has been designed to maximise participation as teams of girls and boys strive together to produce a breakthrough in technology. Importantly, it's not just first across the line. One girl from Grovedale High summed it up when she said, The biggest enjoyment comes from being involved rather than trying to win at all costs. Although, don't count on us to lose. That's the breakthrough spirit.